Welcome to a Week 11 Mountain West Conference Rivalry game as the Wyoming Cowboys travel to Honolulu to take on the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors in the battle for the Panalolo Trophy. The Cowboys are 6-2 overall and 3-1 and in conference play after last week's 41-17 victory over the rival Colorado State. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's games. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings going into today's games. The current Heisman Trophy watch. The Cowboys individual stats going into today's game.
the Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 11 Mountain West Conference rivalry game as the 6-2 Wyoming Cowboys come into Honolulu to take on the 4-4 Hawaii Rainbow Warriors for the battle for the Panalolo Trophy. Aloha! Welcome to Paradise. Aiea, Hawaii, just outside of Honolulu and the home of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. A tremendous setting and a spectacular game that we have in store. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on a fellow Mountain West foe. The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Cowboys will kick it away first. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Rainbow Warriors offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. The Rainbow Warriors in the hurry up. They're going to go right back to him on first down. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. And the Rainbow Warriors decide to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Boots his first of the day away. was called on four times in the victory last week. The Cowboys offense will go to work for the first time today. Here are our impact players for this game, and he goes to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys of the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Nice move to stay on his feet. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. 
Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll try the run. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And already this guy is leaving his mark on this game. Opening drive, back-to-back -back runs where he's found a way to get positive yards. He was able to pick up the first on that last carry. They should keep feeding him the football. The more success they have, it's going to open up the play-action game. He's got an open man. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Wyoming! They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Push his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20, a pickup of five. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. The Rainbow Warriors want to pick up the tempo. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Cross the 30, out to the 33, and gains four on the play. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Looking for space. It's high. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Trying to get to it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. And the Rainbow Warriors will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Good job by the coverage unit. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. 
We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. It looked like a catch, but they'll say he was out of bounds. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. Getting some heat. And the quarterback made himself at home in the pocket until the defense finally raided his house. Down he goes. And really good job getting to the quarterback. That's priority number one, trying to get pressure on him, get him to the ground as a bonus. They had six sacks in their last game. They got to keep building on that number if they want to keep stacking wins. The Cowboys will call on their punt team. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the ground with the back. Runs into a wall. They'll give him one out to the eight. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line in the hurry up. On second down, looking to throw. Now he's going to break the pocket. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And now the ball's loose in the end zone. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Ball was loose in their own end zone, and the defense recovered it for a touchdown. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up, take it all the way back to the house for six. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it 14-0. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by seven over Georgia. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He makes a catch. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That's got to feel really good for this quarterback. It's early in the game, so these third downs are big. You're trying to get your offense into a rhythm and flow. Nice job reading the defense. Beautiful defense. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. 
Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. Right back to the well. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. On the ground, it's Sims. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the Rainbow Warriors racing to the line in the hurry up. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Found a little running room, and they get him stopped after a pickup of six to the 32. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. To the ground to try to move the chains. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The punt goes in. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Looking to pass. It's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. They're going back to the ground. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Hey, stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense showing their strength bowing up, stuffing the run. He wants to pass it on second down. Quickly out to the tight end. Hard-nosed, determined effort to work his way up to the 35-yard line. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Looking to throw for it. Quickly complete. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Everybody on the same page there on blitz pickup, right? Offensive line, everybody communicating, understanding where they have to work to give their QB time to make an accurate throw and pick up the first. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. hand as we start the second Let's go, 
We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Well, the defense just needs something positive to happen. They're trailing in this game. A turnover would be massive for momentum right now. And a nice effort defensively getting a hand on the ball, knocking it down. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. From the gun, wants to pass. He lobs one high down the left side. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. The Cowboys will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter. David, I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. they got to establish something. And you're right. You'll wear your defense out continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense. You're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. They'll give it to him again. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. The Rainbow Warriors headed quickly to the line. They go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. Bully ball on third and short. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Rainbow Warriors are on the move. The give from the gun. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. After picking up a couple at second and eight. motion from the offense they'll switch it up here and look to throw oh what a spectacular layout and catch this first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far starting to get things moving it's first and ten looking to move it through the air grab behind the line it's sims and a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. Here's the handoff. Using that running game to bludgeon forward, he's got four down to the 35. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a the lead. The Rainbow Warriors will send out the punt unit. No return possible on this right around the 30-yard line. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. They ran it on first down, now on second. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. 
There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there, down the perimeter, trying to work the boundary. Just put it somewhere near him. He'll catch it. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And the Cowboys get it past the sticks. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. The Cowboys getting set on first and ten. From the gun, the give, looking for room. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. He's back to throw on second down using the quick game and he was able to get away from one tackle but plenty of help was on the way decent pickup on that play a completion but not quite enough for the first down third down coming for this offense they'll try to get it through the air just a short pass to the tight end working their way closer and closer a third down conversion and they've got it at the 26. Well, in that down and distance, the quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him, so a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. Leaves it with the running back. Breaks the tackle. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense. We got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? Operating in the red zone here on second down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route. And this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Let's it fly. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here in this Week 11 performance. Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a the field to make that big catch. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They are up by just one over Georgia. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And the Rainbow Warriors will hustle through the line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. You got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Out of the gun, they give to the back. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. And he's dragged down. 
Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. Pocket starts to collapse. They got him! It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on downs. He had nowhere to go with the football. Fourth down, you know he wants to make a play. I'd like for him to throw it up, to be honest. Try to give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Who cares if I throw a pick? It's fourth down anyways, but couldn't find anybody to get the ball off. Defense surrounds him, gets him to the ground with the sack. way out first snap of this drive will come from the 46 looking to throw it's Svoboda showing the arm strength to the left and he makes the catch inside the 25 touchdown Wyoming and once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive plays. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. And they can't make the connection on third down. The Rainbow Warriors will bring the punt team onto the field. That's usually prime catch just outside the 40. Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse, they'd love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break. And why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute throwing and running the football game. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now before the half? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. He fires to the left side. Makes the grab, gets the foot down. Just precision execution on that big play. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep, 
Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Going for it all. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. Talk about a breakdown in coverage. That might be the easiest catch he'll have all day. And it doesn't get much easier than that, except the hardest part about this is the walk to the sidelines, because then you have to justify what happened, and your defensive coach is going to be just, just a smidge upset that you left that guy wide open in the end zone for the big play. PAT unit on the field. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Not in lockstep there with the receivers. Let's see what they've got on second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. A strike downfield. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So they'll decline the pass interference penalty, and the result of the play will stand. He's looking to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Sims. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He's going to pass on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Rainbow Warriors send out the punt unit. Excellent job on the five, and they'll have 95 yards to go in front of them. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with a young fellow on the sidelines being like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who... Once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. 
And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius.
Rodgers will kick it away to start the second half. Here's the return from inside his 10. Nice job executing all the turn at the 22. And the Wyoming offense will take over. First and 10. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll open this third quarter with a run. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Leaves it with the back. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. He's got his man. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman, getting to the running back? Cat like quickness. Looking to throw on second down. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Listen, if I'm a QB, second down, I want to check the ball down and get a manageable third down. But when this defense is flying around like this, so fast closing out. He got to that running back, got him on the ground so fast, the running back had nowhere to go. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. And the Cowboys will try to pin them back with the punt. They got to him and blocked it. And after the huge special 30-yard line, the Hawaii offense returns to the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game, day. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Caught in the backfield, it's Walton. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. Well, they got three back, but that's about all you can say about it. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Mississippi State is down, but not out of it. Not with those cowbells ringing inside Davis Wade Stadium, one of the best home field advantages in all of college football. It's less than a touchdown lead. They're trailing by six to Georgia. Just another week of to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They'll go to the ground. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. To the air, it's Svoboda. They're bringing heat. He'll pull it down. 
and they swarm him under. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Tight end finds a soft spot. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And, Artie, it's completely changed the game. Like, now it's 11-on-11 11 11 football. The quarterback used to hand it off and stand there and watch the play. Now he's very much involved in the play. He's running the football so much. And even when he's not, he's making somebody go with him and cover him. So the quarterback scrambling, the quarterback running um, has completely changed the way people play defense. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I, I just... I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Give to the big fullback. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Now they're going to throw it. Quick strike complete. Carrying the ball with attitude down to the 42. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and checkdowns. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. To the air, it's Svoboda, finds his tight end. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. They stop him short. Low man wins. Defense that time on fourth down was expecting run. You saw at the point of attack how they just dominated. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Defense wins the down. They give it back up now to their offense. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. On second down, wants to throw. Looking left. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And the Rainbow Warriors line up to punt it away. Well, what that punt lacked in height, it made up for by being short. The coverage team was down. They'll mark it at the 39. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. Quarterback will keep it. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. 
third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. They're trying to get to it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The Cowboys decide to punt it away. Now, don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. He'll call for the fair. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's right on target. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a new set of downs. It's caught. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. That last completion sets him up on second down. Gets it out fast. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wide out in motion. The aerial assault continues. Grabbed over the middle, it's Perry. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. Use the play fake now to throw. Scrambling away. He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. And the Rainbow Warriors have moved it inside the 20. On second down, looking again to throw. Working that left side now. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. The stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. They come to the line three yards away from the first down marker. They've converted twice on this drive. Quarterback on the keeper. And the defense had its hands full, but they... Not as big and not as physical runners as running back so it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles i like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going but moving forward let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter the rainbow warriors get it up to move the chains now down to the 12 yard line it's first down right back to the well not a whole lot of room there three yards maybe second and seven Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Movement on the offensive line, that's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. 
third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Into the end zone. And it's going to be bad. Tell you what, it gets late in the football game, man. I got to start being aggressive. When, I, when I'm in a hole and, and the clock's running out, like it's going to make me have to throw the football, be more aggressive. And this offense doesn't come through for their team. And now they're going to really need their defense to get some stops here in this football game in the fourth quarter. The offense lining up for a first down play. Running back searching for a hole. Determined run, but he stopped after two yards down at the 13. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give is to Williams. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Man, this is, this is a punch to the gut. When you know you're losing, and you know you got to get a stop, and you know they're going to run the football, and they still run the football down your throat, it's been that kind of day for this defense. At the 35, he's loose. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. When you talk about creating big plays in the running game like this, this makes the game really easy. Actually, when you've got a guy like this that you can hand it to with this much speed and elusiveness, just hard to bring down in the open field. What a big game for the offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job by this defense. Listen, you got to understand, they're going to run the football. They're going to try to milk the clock, Jesse. They got the huge lead. Haven't been a lot of good plays for this defense in this game so far, so can they build on that one? Can they create some turnovers here in the second half to get back in this game? Hand off to the single running back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. To the air, it's Rush. Got his man downfield. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Finds a crease at the 20. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. Pull down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eight. A lot of times defense is blitz to stop the run. This very play right here. Uh, blitz the linebacker, but man, the offense did a great job. Everybody understood what they saw. Running back understood. Pick up a nice positive gain when they were trying to get a blitz and maybe create a tackle for a loss. Oh, there's the ball. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Now, what a missed opportunity for this offense. They had a chance to get points. Now they turn the football over. But if I'm this defense, I'm ready to roll. I got them in the black zone. They got to go the length of the field. See if I can. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but, Jesse, they stall on the other side of the field, and they got to find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. With the catch, it's Sims. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. He 
he's got it. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. Looking to go up top on first down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. He wants to throw it again. Keeps looking downfield. At the 45 on his way. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Rainbow Warriors have their offense in high gear. Wants to throw on first down. Quarterback extends the play. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Second down coming up. The play action fake. Pressure coming. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Moves around to clear up the vision. He'll pull it down and run. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's looking for an open man on second down. And that one's incomplete. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time. And they could use one here. And this one splits the uprights. And three more on the board. And this kicker is starting to get a reputation starting off the season. Hasn't missed yet. Nice to have a guy that you can really, really depend on. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory for him. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Stanley. That's a perfect example. Can and help out the offense. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positive. And the quarterback is snowed under. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. 
They'll bring him down as he bulks up those numbers, but not the most important one as they'll come up short in this game. Well, look what we have here, guys. After all the early season doubts, these guys have put together a winning streak. They sure have. Man, they're just believing in themselves right now. This is a completely different looking team than what we saw early in the year. They're playing with so much more confidence. And David, when you start making plays, you start stringing W's together, that's obviously what happens. Everybody gets energized. Everybody starts to contribute. Young guys start to grow up. Coaches start to believe in them. Everything starts to turn around and swing the other way. They got it all going in the right direction. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 12 Mountain West Conference matchup is another rivalry game as the Cowboys host the Utah State Aggies in the annual Bridgers Battle Game.